morning. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Today is the 24th of November. It is Thanksgiving. Uh, down here doing, doing some quick checks, making sure everything's good, feeding the chickens. Uh, they did well. Uh, no, no predator attack last night, so that's a that's a plus. Uh, yesterday was was fairly warm all day. We had uh, 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 a decent sized melt. Uh, and it stayed warm throughout the night. So I mean, right now it's chilly. It's 23 degrees right now, but uh, that's not bad for for here. Uh, we're running pretty good right now, 172 kilowatts, which we're up, uh, you know, about five from yesterday. So that's that's where we need to be. And that's going to work out great. Uh, things are running smoothly, uh, no issues at this point. <sighs> Got my coughing. That's important. Uh, a little bit foggy out there this morning. Uh, a little freezing frost, a little freezing fog floating around. Uh, anyway, so uh, uh, today today is Thanksgiving, so we're going to be uh, spending some time with uh, family. Uh, I'm not going to do any work today. That's uh, out of the question. I'm going to go to bake. I'm going to cook some uh, turkey, believe it or not. Uh, I'm, yes, believe it or not, that comes come right from here. Uh, it's, it's one of them that I cut up, so uh, the family's going to get together at my daughter Donna's and uh, uh, it, and we'll have ham and turkey, so you, it's a choice. Uh, we weren't even going to have turkey, but I had one, so I, I said, well, I'll just cook it, no big deal. Uh, anywho... Things that I'm uh, this year that I'm thankful for are, are some of the uh, uh, you know pretty big. I, I'm, uh, I'm still here. Uh, I didn't know a couple weeks ago if that was going to be possible. If I was going to make it, so uh, I did. Uh, I'm thankful for that. Uh, looking forward to uh, uh, you know starting to feel better, feeling more better. Uh, still have a little issues, but. Uh, you know that it will come, um, and you know if it doesn't, it doesn't. That's just that's life, and that's what happens. I uh, I also looking forward to uh, uh, spending some time with the uh, with the grandkids, the great grandkids. Uh, coming, looking forward, to, uh, you know, to February. I've got another great grandchild on the way, so. Uh, Looking forward to that. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, the uh, the uh, the chase, the, the 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 one and only grandchild, uh, great grandchild at this time. Uh, it's probably the smartest kid in the world. Uh, just just ask me, I'll tell you. Uh, he he, uh, he he's he's fun to be around. It's fun to watch. So uh, who knew? that uh, grandkids, great-grandkids would be so much fun. Grandkids, you know, now that they're getting older, they're not so much fun anymore. Now they're getting to be like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, you know, when they have little ones, you go, hey, that's great. We like that. Have as many as you like. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I... Uh, as the grandkids get older, they're great when they're younger, but boy, when they get older, start getting opinionated, eh, you, you want to just strangle them sometimes. Uh, other things I'm thankful for this year is I, I'm thankful for the uh, the men and women that we serve with in the, uh, in the fire department, each and every one of them. Uh, means a lot. Uh, they dedicate themselves to something that they really don't have to. Uh, 
and it's the same in in, in all all the departments everywhere. They don't have to be there. Uh, they they are dedicated to to the communities to give back um, and to help out. And and we just have a lot of fun at it. So, uh, but anyhow, anyways. So I'm thankful for every one of those. Thankful for uh, uh, for my customers. Uh, thankful for. Uh, giving the having the opportunity to to serve you and help you in, in your in your uh, in your plumbing issues, your heating issues. I uh, look forward to doing that. Look forward to doing some more of that this year and the coming year. Uh, things are going to be things are on on the on the. On the Horizon are, are going to be changing a little bit on my on my end of it. Uh, not that we're cutting anything back, uh, uh, but uh, help is on the way. Uh, things are things are expanding and, and ever changing. Uh, been been uh, doing some thinking and some some uh, some calculating and, and trying to figure that kind of stuff out. Uh, nobody likes change, but change happens. So, <laughs> uh, nobody likes getting older, but we do. So, <laughs> uh, I'm thankful for for my cardiologist, for my doctors, for those people that take care of me, and uh, the, the the intelligence that they have. Uh, even though I tell, I say all the time that uh, I'm smarter than most doctors. At least I have some common sense, uh, but everybody has has their field. Everybody knows their field, and I don't know hard stuff. They do. That's why we go see them. Uh, they don't know plumbing, so that's why they call me. They don't know heating, that's why they call me. Uh, everybody's everybody's field is special. I, I am thankful for uh, the country that we live in, uh, for the opportunities that this country provides at each and every individual. The opportunity is the same across the board, regardless of your financial status. You have the same opportunity to, to make it or not. Uh, and that's all that the Constitution ensures you. It does not ensure you a level playing field. Uh, there are people out there who who have people behind them who have financially can back them, but that's okay. Uh, you know, I, I don't. That's all right. I don't care. Uh, their, their indebtedness is a whole lot more than my indebtedness, so... The opportunity is there for them. The opportunity is there for me. So, uh, if if you're one of those people that that can't see that, then I'm, I really feel sorry for you because uh, you're missing out on on what it really means to be free. You can do whatever you want to do, but you still have to take care of yourself. Uh, I'm thankful for for uh, this job that I have. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a part-time thing and it requires me to come down here every day. And sometimes I get really frustrated with it. Uh, I can't, some things I just can't do, but we can't. Uh, it's, it's uh, I can figure it out. I can, I can get somebody here. I can make a phone call. I can do that. Sometimes I get in my own way. Uh, I'm doing some of that, but uh, you make a phone call, you go, hey, I, I don't know what to do here. Somebody will come help you out. Uh, I'm thankful for those people. <laughs> uh, mostly, uh, I, I just, uh, you know, if, if we dwell on the, on the negative stuff that we do in our lives and the things that are attacking us and, and the way that we feel uh, are disadvantages for us, then you miss out on a lot. Uh, so don't do that. Uh, just 
start counting the things that you're thankful for, the things that you really that, that are going good, the, the, the things that uh, mean a lot, and really sit back and go, what do you need? What is it that you really, really need? I don't have a lot, uh, but I don't need a lot, so I don't require I don't require a, uh, a twenty room mansion. Uh, I don't require a brand new pickup truck. I don't require uh, the best of the best. Uh, all I need to require is a couple hand tools and uh, my little car and, and our apartment, and uh, that's what I need. I can do whatever I need with that. So that's what I'm thankful for. Uh, my needs are met, uh, and that's all we can really ever hope for. Uh, <clears throat> my my fear is for this year, uh, and it's really uh, I'm not afraid, but I I I fear for the people who are going to be uh, struggling this this year. Uh, the railroad going on strike. Uh, it's not going to help the supply chains at all. Uh, so if you think you need something, better order it now because it's not going to be available in a month. Uh, we went to dinner the other night uh, at a restaurant down in uh, Gloversville that we frequent all the time. We go there every time we're down there. We were there because that's where we eat. Uh, one of their furnaces broke, um, and their their uh, their technician uh, told them that it's probably going to be a month before we get the part. So, well, that's just, and that's in a restaurant, and it's a furnace. You know, I understand uh, exactly. I don't know what part it was. I couldn't tell you that. I have no idea, but. That's what the owner told me, that they told him it would be a month for the part. Uh, so he was scrambling, putting together portable heaters and, and, and things there. Um, that's not good. Uh, with, and then, and then uh, you know, the thing, other things are going to slow it down. People are going to not be able to afford food. They're not going to be able to afford heat. They're not going to be... You're going to get to the point where it's going to be tough to even go to work. Uh, you know, most of our most of our uh, fuel is either coming across on trains, or gasoline comes across on trains in tanker cars, uh, then gets distributed from there. Um, all the all the oil coming into the country, all the oil coming into this country goes by rail. Uh, at some point, it hits rail. Now, there's going to be disruption in that, so consider that. What's that going to do to the prices, the availability? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Now we've got uh, uh, North Korea uh, saying that they, they can strike the United States with a nuclear weapon anytime, and they are ways to do that. Uh, I'm thankful we're in the hills. Uh, you know, the, uh, the Bible says to head for the hills. <laughs> you know, hide yourselves in the hills or in the rock and, and, and hold on because it's going to be bad. So, uh, I talked to a guy yesterday uh, who's really not a believer. Uh, but he, he said, uh, he said, in my lifetime, and he's a little bit younger than I am, he said, I never would have guessed that the country would fall so far as it has in the last two years. And it's true, it's been two years. And, and we've gone from prosperity to, to who knows where we're going. At this point. Anyways, I don't want to dwell on the negative. Uh, I, 
guess the real thing is to make sure that you're 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 doing the things that you need to do and be prepared for the things you do. So let's uh, let's go outside a little bit. I'll show you outside real quick. It's a, it's a little chilly. You can you can see the fog up there hanging out. Been keeping the chickens inside. They they've been appreciating it. <clears throat> they uh They 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 didn't have any problem going in last night. They were happy to go in. Uh somebody put put a box of uh leftovers out here and they uh they closed the lid. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you guys are gonna need a little more food, huh? Let me dump that out. Let me dump that out. There you go. Try that. Some biscuits, some gravy, some lettuce in there. <laughs> They'll eat that like crazy. I'm gonna leave that open a little bit. Throw them a couple scoops of, of feed in there. With the turkeys gone and the uh, and the, losing the uh, the five birds, uh, <laughs> we're down a little bit. putting the lid on my garbage can. That's where I keep my chicken feed. They're down a little bit on what they eat every day, so uh, I still have the four young ones over there. I'm gonna move them tonight. I'm gonna move them over to, to with the other ones. Uh, integrate the flock, keep everybody together. Water level is a little bit lower than it was. <clears throat> that does not really surprise me. We have had melts, so, but uh, with the melt, you can see, see the rocks down here in the bottom. We still have icicles over here, but the water levels dropped down quite a bit again. That should pick up tomorrow, it's supposed to rain. Oh, uh, we and that should make the uh, everything just flow really well. Uh, when the chickens were getting attacked, they they actually got in this chicken wire fencing and hid in there. Uh, I, I don't know if it's actually hiding or they got in there because they knew that the whatever the animal was that was trying to attack them, they could not get them there. So that was that was smart on their part. That, the, that fog this morning is just a little heavy. Let's walk up to the uh, take a hike this morning up to look at the waterfall and see how that's going haven't done that this week so snow's crunchy out here it's uh it's, you, you can you can feel the wetness in it so it'll probably be gone mostly today waterfall I don't see anything 
it has majorly changed in it. We've got some ice forming on it down here. That looks really decent. Give it a quick look at the, see what's happening at the, you know, guava freeze, what, if anything moved or missing, or my spring is still, still flowing over there. Just got water out of this morning to make coffee. Gonna have to get the tractor worked on this week. Uh, gonna see uh, I'll talk to uh, to Lee and Lenny uh, and see if we can get the tractor hauled up to maybe Bill and maybe he can get it in his garage and work on it that would work better if we can do that and then he can just do it at his leisure and then we just haul it back when it's done that's a possibility. We'll see. Still got to get Bill the uh, the uh, <laughs> belt for the snowblower, but he's going to be with uh, with uh, Daniel and uh, and uh, my my son Daniel and his wife Barb. Uh, Barb is his niece, so uh, they're gonna, he's going to be spending Thanksgiving with them. Quick look downstream. Let's see if I can get a little closer without killing myself on these rocks. Because it is a little slippery. Not too bad. All right. Now you can look downstream. Swing you around here. Look at the back of the building and the tail race. Uh, this is where the water comes out of the out of the turbines right there. It goes back into the river. All right. So we've had a look. We've seen what's going on. Uh, this little stream over here that's, that you can see flowing there, that is from the springs that uh, are up on the hill. So they usually flow all year long, uh, mostly open water too. So I, if it gets super, super cold, that they'll freeze up. But the water will still run underneath them. But I'm not going to cut a hole in it to grab it. <laughs> then I'll start carrying some water in. Or I can get it out of the penstock inside the, inside the plant. Run it through the filter and then everything is good, is good to go. All right. So this is where it is and where we're going to end for today. You guys have a... Uh, a great Thanksgiving, and uh, hopefully the sun is shining and it's warm where you're at, and I'll see you on the next one.